Hey everyone, Brandon Lee here from Virtualization How To and big news for home lab enthusiasts. In fact, I would venture to say we are ushering in a new era in many PCs. Crucial has officially released 128 gigabyte DDR5 SODIMM modules and this unlocks literally a whole new world of possibilities for many PCs and home lab setups. Think about it, 128 gigs of RAM in a mini PC. So we're no longer limited by memory capacity when running Proxmox, VMware ESXi, or Kubernetes clusters. So let's break down the specs and how this literally changes the game for home labbers. When it comes to virtualization, memory is certainly king. CPUs have gotten insanely powerful, and for most home lab workloads, CPU utilization is no longer the bottleneck. But RAM, that's a different story. When you're running multiple VMs, LXC containers, or Kubernetes clusters, RAM is usually the first resource that you run out of. The previous cap for DDR5 SODIMM memory was 96 gigs which was already a jump from 64 gigs of just a few years back. Now, 128 gigs brings us close to true workstation level memory in compact form factor. Imagine running a three node cluster with many PCs having 384 gigs of memory at your disposal. That's insane for a home lab setup. Well, here it is, Crucial's new 128 GB DDR5 SODIMM kit. It comes in two 64 gig modules, and it features a speed of up to 5600 megatransfers per second, and it can downclock to 5200 and 4800 megatransfers per second. Voltage is 1.1 volts, which is fairly low power. The CAS latency is 46, it has 262 pins, and compatibility, at least according to official documentation, is Intel Core Ultra and 14th Gen, AMD Ryzen 8000 series, and newer. Performance features, it supports Intel XMP 3.0 and AMD Expo. These new modules are available as single DDR5 SODIMM modules or in kits, such as the 128 gig kit. So if your mini PC is a dual channel setup, you're gonna be able to install this 128 gig kit into your mini PC, and you're off and running with the most RAM that you can stuff inside a mini PC at this particular time. Now, let's talk about compatibility. That's often the biggest challenge when it comes to new hardware offerings and certainly the new RAM kits. Uh, we're going to see that with these 128 gig SODIMM module kits from uh, Crucial. PC manufacturers will take some time to note that they will officially support that level of 128 gigs of DDR5 memory. Now, if you don't see official support for manufacturers, don't worry. Again, we saw the same thing with the 96 gig memory kits when they first appeared onto the scene. Most mini PCs didn't list those as supported, but they worked right away uh, without any BIOS updates or any kind of firmware applied. Now, I'm not gonna say that is going to be the case across the board. There may be some mini PCs that do not support these new kits, but by and large, I expect the same delay with manufacturers updating documentation for 128 gig kits. But if you do have an Intel Core Ultra or AMD Ryzen 8000 plus system, there's a good chance it will work fine. And there's a good chance if you have something older than that, at least from this last year in 2024, it's very likely that it's going to be supported as well. However, it doesn't keep us from testing our mini PCs that we currently have that support DDR5 and dual channel memory. So that's what I wanna share with you guys next are the mini PC models that I have placed this 128 gig memory kit inside of and saw that 128 gig memory limit in something like Proxmox or VMware vSphere. Now, at this time, the models that I have tested personally with this 128 gig memory kit are the Minis Forum MS-01, the Asus NUC 14 Pro, and the TrigKey S7 Pro. 
So let's jump into a few of the screenshots and video that I myself have taken in my home lab of some of these mini PCs that I've tried the 128 gig kits inside of to see those booted into Proxmox or VMware ESXi. Mini's forum MS01 and this little mini PC is what is running my production quote unquote data center here at the home lab. I've got all of my production workloads running on a pair of Minis Forum MS01s, and they are connected to a shared data store running still currently VMware vSphere 8.03, so vSphere 8 update 3. And as you can see, this is not a live video. What I did was I took a screenshot of the console, the DCUI, when I was booting the MS01 up from installing the new crucial 128 gig memory kit. And as you can see, it correctly counts the memory 127.7. And I saw that as well once I got booted into VMware vSphere. So the Minis Forum MS01, I think is gonna be a super popular mini PC to upgrade to 128 gigs memory with this new memory kit. And hopefully this shows us as well what is gonna be possible with the new and forthcoming Minis Forum MSA2, which I think is going to be a really great successor to the Minis Forum MS01. Okay, so now what I have is the Asus NUC 14 Pro that I have installed the crucial 128 gigabyte memory kit in. And as you can see, it has no issues counting up to the 128 gigs of memory. And as we can see, the little bit of overhead uh, from Proxmox itself. But also what we can do, I've got a terminal session to this same Proxmox server and we can do a free dash M and you can see here we've got a total of 128.302, which is indeed the 128 gigs memory along with the swap space that is default at eight gigs out of a fresh installation of Proxmox. But again, this is the Asus NUC 14 Pro uh, you can see the 22 processors, logical processors of this Ultra 7 155H processor along with that 128 gigs memory. And this is excellent since we have tons of CPU power and now we have the ability to have all the way up to 128 gigs of system memory. Again, the Asus NUC 14 Pro. Okay, so I'm on the BIOS page of the TrigKey S7 Pro, which is another really nice mini PC that I have reviewed and received as a review unit. And it has the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS with Radeon 780M graphics. And as you can see, I do see the total of 131,072 megabytes, or that would equal the 128 gigs of memory, DDR5, and so everything is counted as expected in this TrigKey S7 Pro. As we expected, uh, a lot of these units that I've plugged in so far with the DDR5 memory, I've not seen any issues with it reading all of the available 128 gigs of memory with this new crucial 128 gig memory kit. So I'm going to say this again, this is absolutely huge for home labs. Uh, before this, to get 128 gigs of memory, you needed either a full server or a workstation. It was just not attainable with soda and memory. Now with low power mini PCs, we can further scale our home labs without breaking the bank. Clustering, think about a three node cluster now with the potential in mini PCs of 384 gigs of system memory. That is a serious level of enterprise server memory at fraction of the cost. And when we think about the possibility of using this new level of memory with new technologies like a VMware NVMe memory tiering, or in my last video where we took a Proxmox server with very little memory and paired that also with Intel Optane. Think about if you have 128 gigs of memory inside your Proxmox host, as well as Intel Optane to play around with. So I do think we're getting ever closer to enterprise grade performance in many PCs, especially when you think about the fact that we now have in 2025 many PCs with 32 threads. And I, I'm telling you, I love the Minis Forum BD795M motherboard in my 2025 Proxmox home server build, and it is so powerful. And I'm looking forward to seeing the possibilities that we're going to be able to achieve with the upcoming Minis Forum MSA2 
and think about the MSA2 with 128 gigs of DDR5 memory. Think about three MSA2s with 128 gigs of DDR5 memory and 32 threads in each of those mini PCs. That just blows my mind to think how far we have come in just the last five years. So 128 gigs of DDR5 memory in a compact form factor means many PCs are now a real alternative to full-blown servers. And I do think the compatibility list will grow as manufacturers catch up. And I'm going to be testing these in more mini PCs as those come out, or I have review units that are sent over to me. I'm certainly gonna throw those in there. So let me know in the comments, are you excited about 128 gigs of system memory in your mini PC running DDR5. Also, check out my Proxmox Home Lab build for 2025, where I push this memory to the limit on a Minis Forum BD795M motherboard. Subscribe for more Home Lab virtualization and mini PC content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss the latest updates. Well, please do stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.